Hi guys, I'm sure you all know this problem. You want to make everything perfect and use high quality meshes and 4K textures and at the end you want to render everything out and then you only get a VRAM error. And for that I want to show you a newer add-on called Memsaver which can be really a lifesaver. So how does it work? It reduces the poly count and texture sizes of the objects depending on the position of the camera and this is only temporary so you can always change the camera position and calculate it new. If you want you can also resize all selected images to a specific resolution. And what's also very great that you can estimate the memory usage with this plugin to see which meshes or textures are taking the most RAM. Basically, it's pretty simple. You just have to go to your scene and then click on Adaptive Optimize. And here you can choose which objects should be affected. So in my case, I choose all objects. And then you can also change the quality factor of the image resizing if you want. But normally I would leave it to one because then it exactly calculates the needed texture resolutions for the current frame and doesn't make it unnecessarily high. So here you can also change the minimum and maximum texture resolution if you want. And then we go to the decimate meshes function. And basically what it does, it applies a decimate modifier on every object where it's needed. In this case, up to 0.5 meters from the camera away it won't apply any decimation modifier on the objects and then you can set here the lowest quality distance so it means from 5 meters it will take the lowest decimation ratio and in between it will calculate the needed ratio automatically here you can also then set the lowest quality ratio which i set to 0.1 and if you want you can also say that it should ignore meshes with a face count lower than 1000 for example and then to the last what does the animation mode mean. When I make animations and I have a camera movement, for example from this place to here, then it will automatically take the nearest position from the object to the camera to calculate the quality. And depending on how complicated and much objects you have and how big your textures are, it can take a while the first time. Alright, here we go. I set the quality settings very low here to show you the effect better. Normally I would set the lowest quality distance way higher to something like 100 or 200 and also would set the max distance higher. If you click on the object, then you can also see the decimate modifiers here. So everything is decimated very much now and if I then want to make a close-up shot of a specific object then I can just move with the camera to the object and then I go into solid mode to show you it better. And as you can see the decimate ratio is set to 0.1 so the lowest. And now if I click on adaptive optimize again and OK. Then the mesh resolution of the foreground objects is way better. But yeah, as you can see, we reduced our vertices from nearly 4 million to only 500,000. And also the faces and other things are way less now. And also the VRAM usage is reduced now, but not so much, so maybe it makes sense here to limit the texture sizes more. Also the numbers on the status bar for the RAM usage isn't so exact often. If you want, you can also resize all images to a specific resolution here, so for example 2K. And of course you can also revert the images and the meshes to the originals. And here you can check if it replaced all images correctly or if it missed something out. And then it will resize it again. And with the last button you can estimate the memory usage. So if you click on it, then it will open a new window and show you all images or meshes that currently take the most RAM. And this is super useful. What I don't like so much at the moment is that you only have one cage path for all scenes. So all resized images will be saved here. But you can change the path in the preferences of the add-on if you want. I think it's pretty nice and it really saved some of my last projects so that I could render things out without nearly zero quality loss and this is really amazing. So if you liked the video then please leave a thumbs up or a comment below and then I see you next time.